started here, we'd like to welcome defending champion Tyrrell Patton into the interview room at the Arnold Palmer Invitational presented by MasterCard. Uh, Tyrrell, last year, obviously you were the final winner on the PGA Tour before uh, the shutdown due to the pandemic. Um, not all positive, I'm sure, when the memories come back to you, but, but what do you think about last year earning your first PGA Tour victory? Uh, well, yeah, it's obviously special to, to be back here. Um, yeah, the, the world's changed quite a bit in the last year since um, since my win here. Um, but obviously, it's it's still fond memories, and um, it's always going to be a special place for me. And when you and when you walk around here yesterday, you hit that opening uh, tee shot. Uh, what's it like being back here? Um, as a defending champion, and how special a moment was that for you yesterday wearing the party? Yeah, it was nice. Um, just, I guess, kind of good vibes just being back, really. Um, remembering how, how difficult it was, obviously the pressure. Um, I, played, uh, I played the back nine yesterday morning, and it was, it was kind of nice just being out on the course again. Um, I hadn't been back here since, although, although living in Orlando, um, I hadn't been back since the, um, the tournament last year, so yeah, just just nice to be back and kind of get familiar with the course again. All right, we will open it up to questions uh, to media that we have on the line. If you have a question, please type your name into the chat window, and I will call on you. We'll take our first question from Phil Casey. Go ahead, Phil. Yeah, hi, General. Thanks for doing this. Um, your winning score obviously tough conditions. I think it was four under par last year, um, and your average on the European Tour winning total is twenty one under par. So, um, any preferences for a winning score this time around? Uh, I know. Obviously, last year here it was absolutely brutal over the weekend. Um, I remember. I think I shot three over over the weekend, and which is almost unheard of to then be uh, holding the trophy on Sunday evening. <laughs> Uh, obviously, we've had uh, a lot of rain last night. Um, it'd be interesting to see how how the course is going to play from tomorrow. Um, I don't, I haven't really seen what the forecast is like, but if if it's not too windy, um, the course is obviously going to play quite a bit softer now. Um, I imagine scoring will be fairly low. I think it's it's normally been what was it around mid teens anyway as a winning score yeah. um so yeah we'll we'll kind of see see what the weather does and um obviously give it our best and you've obviously defended the title before with the dunhill can you take anything into that play anything from that or is it the fact that the dunhill's a prime does that make it entirely different no i mean it's like i just said you, you try your best every week um yeah, it was nice to and very special to defend the Dunhill, um, and I'll be trying my best to do do that this week here at Bay Hill. Um, we'll just, like I said, see what happens. Okay, good luck this week. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Ian Carter, BBC. Go ahead, Ian. Hi, Cyril. Um, I, I'm just wondering here on how you reflect on on that victory. Just how how big it was and how much of a role it might have played in subsequent victories, the likes of, of, of Wentworth and so on? Yeah, it was, a, it was a huge moment for me in my career, you know, winning for the first time on the PGA Tour um, at such an iconic venue uh, is, is extremely special and, you know, I think although, although we did have Unfortunately, a, a long break, not not long after the tournament last year. Um, I guess I kind of kept that run going uh, and ended up having a brilliant year. So obviously very thankful for that. And um, yeah, hoping I can kind of put up a good defence this week. Uh, do you feel it's given you a lot of confidence in subsequent events? Yeah, well, I, I think Obviously, I'd, I'd proved myself on the European Tour, and um, I'd had some good finishes on the PGA Tour. But to, obviously, to win here, it was a world-class field, and um, yeah, it kind of it, it does a lot for the confidence. And I'm sure, like I said, I'm sure it played a huge part in how I then went once we restarted golf again. How I kind of finished off the year. 
Thanks, Terrell. Good luck this week. Thank you. Uh, next question will be from Bernie McGuire, Daily Record. Sure, sure. Hi. Good to see you again. You're right. And just on the back, just on the back of Ian's question and confidence going forward, we're getting that red cardigan back on today. How, how, how close do you think you are to getting a green jacket also in the wardrobe? Given that's only like a month away now. How, how, good, how good would that be too as well? <laughs> uh... Yeah, I think uh, I need to figure out how to putt at Augusta if that's ever going to happen, to be honest. Um, normally putting's a strong point for me, and yeah, I've never putted well there, sadly. So obviously hoping that changes this year, but um, there's a lot of golf to be played between now and then. Um, obviously mainly focused on, on this week, and I feel pretty comfortable on the golf course, obviously. Um, I've putted well here in the past, and, and hoping that I can kind of produce another good week here. And just one last question if I may, how different has it been you going back to Bay Hill this week and, and ha, what's it been like and what, how, how much do you, do you sort of praise both tours in the way they carry themselves and how golf sort of got back onto the stage again post the, the lockdown last year? Yeah, well, I think we all know how how lucky we are to, to kind of be working and um, I guess having a almost a, a normal life really being able to play tournaments um, obviously it's a little bit different on the European tour where it's it's a lot stricter there's a lot more I guess hoops that they've kind of got to jump through there with different governments and whatnot but um, yeah I think just a gen general consensus from the players that we're very very happy to, to be playing again um, I think we've got 25% capacity fans this week as well which you know that's going to make yeah. a nice change um, Bit of atmosphere again is always uh, is always welcome, and um, it, it will be done in a safe manner, which is the important thing. Okay, great. Have a good week this week. Thanks. Thank you. Adam Kufrank, Golf Week. Go ahead, Adam. That's right. What, what's um, what's been the response to the anger management classes? <laughs> um, it's gone down very well. Uh, I mean, it's a pretty funny piece. Um, I know that there's a there's a video coming out today that will um, that's almost a bit of a follow on from that. So yeah, you, you guys will have to keep your eyes peeled. Uh, I think it's at some point this afternoon UK time it will get posted. So um, I've seen it this morning and it's it's pretty funny, and um, I'm sure everyone's going to enjoy watching it. Okay. And what's your fondest memory from your victory last year? Um, probably the the seven iron I ended up hitting into eighteen. Uh, such a <laughs> the amount of pressure that was on that shot, um, and to to kind of pull it off and, and give myself what was probably the scariest twenty foot part I've had in my life. Uh, <laughs> it was um, yeah, that's a, it was a great moment. Thank you. David Facey with the Sun, go ahead. Hi, Tyrone. Hey. Sorry, I, I can't see my picture up there, but uh, probably a good thing. <laughs> uh, Tyrone, you in, in terms of world ranking, you're, you're actually the uh, top uh, guy in the field. I just wonder uh, whether you find that almost surreal and whether your status in the game now, so that that, that is a reflection of it. Um. Yeah, it, it, I mean, it is surreal, really, but it doesn't sort of, it doesn't necessarily, it, you're not, golf's funny, isn't it? You're not going to go. It's my favorite golf ambassador, Brooke Henderson. Oh, <laughs> sorry, I think we had a communication issue there. <laughs> um, uh, I've lost my trail of thought, sorry. Uh, world rankings. Um, yeah, I, um, I, it doesn't really play any relevance in how the tournament's going to go. Um, it's not very often that the top three guys ranked in the field finish one, two, three. So um, there's a lot of fantastic players here this week and um, and that, that's, uh, that's the beauty about um, professional golf. Anyone playing the tournament has a chance to win. So you've got to play very good to to even have a chance and um, yeah hoping that I'll be able to do that.
in your ranking and the fact that you've won four big events in the last 16, 17 months, do you walk onto the range a little bit taller? Um, but standing at five foot eight, I wish I could walk onto the range a little taller. Um, <laughs> but sadly, that's out of my control. Um, but no, I mean, I I feel confident when I go to a tournament if I if I know that my swing's in a good place, um, and I can kind of if I manage my emotions well throughout the week, then sure I'll give myself a chance. Um, I felt last week that I was. I didn't feel like I was swinging it that good and I was getting a bit frustrated and my golf got a little bit better um, each day. Um, I actually played really good on Sunday even though I shot, uh, I think it was three under. Um, so I take confidence from that that my swing kind of feels like it's getting into a, a good place again and um, I guess we'll see exactly tomorrow how it is and like I said, hoping that I can kind of get off to a good start. Thanks Tool, have a good week. Thank you. Uh, Brendan Romine, Golf Channel, go ahead. And, and sorry, Chris, if you could just turn off your video for us, that'd be great. Thank you. Hey, uh, Terrell, uh, there's the possibility of three European events moving to Florida after the Masters. Now, I know these probably aren't events that you're going to play, but what are your thoughts on that? And what three venues would you, if, if you were making the decision, what three venues would you have them play at? Oh, um, yeah, I'd, I'd heard. Uh, a rumor of it. Um, I think it is pretty tough, obviously, for the European Tour at the moment, where there's just some countries that you can't get into, and um, you know, need the guys need events to play in. I think if that is a possibility for them to come over here to the states and and do something here, then you know, playing opportunities for guys is is pretty important. So um, I think it would be a good thing uh, in terms of courses where they could play. Well, I mean, there's there's a lot of good courses in Florida. Um, I'm sure the the weather will be a little bit different to what <laughs> the guys have been used to in Europe at the moment. Um, but I'm sure that they'll choose three good venues if if that is actually an option. All right, we'll take our uh, final question from Doug Ferguson, Associated Press. Go ahead, Doug. Good morning, Cheryl. So 25% of the galleries have stepped forward, uh, but you probably have the distinction of having the last big roar in golf, <laughs> if you think back to last year at Bay Hill. Can you even remember what that sounded like, and, and do you think it might even be weird to hear a cheer for you, assuming you do anything worth cheering this week? <laughs> um, I think it's kind of hard to remember the, the cheers, really. Um, we've played a lot of golf since then with obviously no fans um but like I said, it's going to be it'll be nice having having a limited number of fans out there again just to kind of give a bit more of an atmosphere um and uh hopefully um we can do something worth worth cheering about can you think of any awkward moments over the last year um, awkward meeting the the silence if you will on the first uh, yeah, I mean that w that was quite strange. The first few events back, it just seemed <laughs> like a bit dull. Um, but you you kind of get used to it, and at the end of the day, you're there to just play golf and kind of get on with what you need to do. And um, I feel like everyone's done a pretty good job of that. Thank you. Do something good this week. Thank you. Okay, Cyril, those are all the questions we have. We appreciate your time and best of luck this week with you defending your title. Thank you very much.